can I figure out a way to hurt you without hurting myself? That would be my ideal, if I'm honest. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Starbound, where in exciting news, the house is flooding. The house is flooding because it was raining earlier, and I don't have a roof here, and, um, you know, water. Water came in the house. In less exciting news, we built this room over here, which is ostensibly my entryway. So you're going to come in, you're going to see my lovely spinning wheel, which I can make string on, and then you're going to go through here to my bedroom, which is just a bed in, in the middle of the open, wide open sky, landscape, whatever, and my carrot. My carrot. I'm very excited about my carrot. It's the only thing I've grown. No, don't, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Just look at the carrot. Look at the carrot. Don't hit the carrot. It's the only thing I've grown. It's the only food I have left. I'm going to starve to death very, very soon, at which point I'll be put back to my ship where there is no more food because I've eaten all of my emergency food. So I've got two priorities right now. I would like to finish constructing some kind of roof over all of this because the next time it rains, I don't know if we can afford much more water in the basement down here. Yeah, I see you down there. You know how you're going to get to me? Not at all. I've built a door and closed it. So let's see if I can get something going along the lines of a roof. Maybe it'll be a second floor. I don't really know what at this point. It's just going to exist. So if you could go right there and then we hoppity hop, hop, hop hoppity hop over there. There we go. I might actually be sort of sealing myself in in terms of being able to get up and down the ladder. But we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, you are going to go. Why don't you go actually up like that and then come over there. And there, and there. We're just going to move this along until the rain is not our problem anymore. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to finish this off because I'm I'm going to die very soon. I'm, I'm starving to death. Maybe I should actually just leave this bit open for the garden. I should probably leave that bit open for the garden. I'm going to do that while I'm starving to death here. I'm going to um, just leave that bit wide open. We're going to have a little bit of an open spot there. I can't quite reach that. It's all largely immaterial because I am dying. I, I am, in fact, dying at this point. Let's go over to the sword for no explicable reason. I was told in the comments, thank you again to the comment section of Starbound for kind of holding my hand through this, that if I want to get any meat off of animals, the sword ain't going to cut it. I need to get a bow. I wonder if I can figure that out before I die. So if I went to here, hunting bow, here it is. I actually have everything except a copper bar. And I know where there's some copper around here. Yeah, I managed to scrounge up all of that copper at the end of the last one. So make whatever you think I can make. Just make all of it. And then I could actually make a bow. I won't have time to use it. I'll be dead. But at least when I come back, I might be able to. Speaking of which, I should throw some things in the box. I should put things in the box. Like, um, I don't know, some flares. That can go live in a box. And rope. That, that could go live in a box. Uh, salve I'll keep on me for obvious reasons. Graduation flyer. I've been sitting on that thing for ages. I'm just mostly doing red-hot inventory management until I keel over from hunger. Wait, I've got a wheat seed. I have one more seed. I can grow wheat next to my carrot. It's going to be very exciting. Oh, and it's raining again. Good, good. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that. Not so much with the flooding in the basement. The new roof does seem to be helping with that. But I would like to get rid of, actually, this because let's get the roof off of here so the rain will be more effective. Now, i got to go over to my side thing before I drop dead. I'm going to drop dead at any moment, but we're going to try and plug along nonetheless. So put that in there, and then I need to go to that, and then I need to, like, hoe this. Oh, I already hoed it. Never mind. I just need my seed then. Can I get this in here? Before I die. Let, let's all hope so here. Go to that, go to that, and then wheat. Yeah, wheat. I love how proud I look of my wheat and my one carrot. We're all going to die. Well, back on base, I just want to, for argument's sake, check the uh, the old inventory here. Nope, no food has respawned. That's unfortunate. I was also told in the comments, I can decorate this. I can bring stuff up here, and we can we can live on the ship. I don't actually need to live down there, but there's no real materials up here. I'm not going to get anything up here. So I may as well go back down to the ground, to the house, and see how long we can survive this time. And of course, the great advantage of dying in my own house is all my stuff is still here, so I didn't need to sweat my inventory that much. 
I should go on a very tentative foraging expedition. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction this time. I'm going to go in the opposite direction because that's where that copper lived. So let's get out of here and then close the door on your way out, Dave. Go over to the sword because you know there's going to be trouble. But let's head in this direction. In my ideal world, I find some seeds. That would be great. Maybe some more copper in that little copper deposit that I discovered that was, to my recollection, right around here. I may have already exhausted it. There's the very suspicious grave. This can't be good. I mean, there's flowers laid on it and everything. Uh, do you hate me? Are you going to murder me? Please say no. Yeah, you're the monkey. You totally murder me. Uh, murder you. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Stop that. Now, if I had a hunting bow, I could really get some meat off of you. I am perfectly willing to eat monkey if I need to. You guys are the jumpy kind. And that uh, usually I, I do okay against you guys, except not that time. Right, that and that. Are any of you seeds? I need seeds. Okay, all bandaged up after a brief amount of combat there. Those are petals. I don't really need those. Uh, that might be some coal or iron right underneath me. I might grab that once I deal with your nonsense. Uh, something is flying at me. Something is flying. That can't be good. It's flying away. Okay, I'm really psyched about that. Uh, get whatever is in here. I'm pretty sure that's iron or it might be coal. It is coal. Okay, grab all of this. It's not really what I want, but I'm out here. I may as well get it. Oh, I, I learned to make a thing. Pearl pea risotto after I snagged that plant fiber. I don't know why, and I probably don't have the ingredients for it. What are you? You are a yellow petal. That's not as exciting as, say, you know food might be. I'm going to take down this tree and I'm going to find out what's right below me there. I don't know what that is and I'd kind of like to find out. So I'm going to get all of you event. Well, I'll come down and get you. What, do you. what are you? What do you do for a living? You're mud. Okay. I didn't, I didn't really need that. I can make mud. Yeah, a little bit of trouble up on the hill there, but I really like the look of that bush. That looks really, really tasty. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Kill it with fire or at least with a sword. All right, that could have gone better. What are you? Because you look awesome. Can I interact with you? I got pearl peas. Oh, that's like the thing I just learned how to make. Yay. And a seed. Oh my god, we've got a seed. We've got. I've never been more excited to have a seed. And I'm going to have to build a way out of here because I'm going down a hill that I can't really navigate. So I'm going to take out some of this in advance before I get completely stuck by, you know, this guy down here, who's clearly going to cause me some grief. Can I maybe stand? You're trying to, you're trying to jump up at me. Can I, can I figure out a way to hurt you without hurting myself? That would be my ideal, if I'm honest. So let's say I put a, a block there. Can I jump to that and then go to the sword? And then can I hit you from here? No, I'm going to have to engage you. This is disappointing. I also don't think I want to go down here because that's looking really, really far down. And I am not 100% sure I can get out of there with any degree of success. I mean, I could do, you know, my Hogan's Heroes move of borrowing my way back home. But if we can avoid that, that'd be good. And if I can avoid these guys, that would be good too. But I can't. So, oh, you're just going to fall down the thing. All right. Well, you're stuck. Good move there, Sparky. I'm just going to move on. I'm going to completely ignore you. I don't think I'm going to be able to completely ignore these guys, though. This is not going to go as well. All right. Just timing, 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 more timing, more hitting, more timing, more sorting, stabbing. Right. That could have gone slightly better. Let's do a little bandage here. Go back to the sword. Let's just head home. I want to plant my thing before I die and I lose it. Oh, God, it's another monkey. These guys cause me no end of grief because they, like, fold up into armor and it's very, very fussy to hit them. And then they move around really fast. It's really not suited to my combat style at all, which is sneaking up on someone and murdering them when they're not looking. This isn't working out great. I am dead. Well, now I got to go get all my stuff. That's just fussy. Didn't want to have to do that. I don't think it's too far away, though. Oh, there's one of you. Oh, super fantabulous. You're the guy who just killed me. Um, uh, come on, come on, get him, get him, get this guy, 
this guy more. I need a better weapon. That would be a great start. I'm going to take the fight to you, Sparky. I don't like you. I don't like your armor. I don't like how fast you move. You and I are just not getting along well, and therefore you need to go away. Come here. Don't run away from me. And all of your friends that you breed. What is that? A living root. Can I plant that? Is that a thing I, I can do? I'm pretty sure my stuff is not far away. It was past the grave. I see you. I see, Oh, you jump. You jump much higher than I thought you were going to. Uh, get, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I don't have my bandages on me either. Very fussy. There's my stuff, though. That's good. All right, now I've got all my things back, and we're just going to run back home. Run back home and plant the new things that I just got. Right after I deal with the monkey at my door. If I had a nickel for every time I've said that in my life, come on, come on, take it like a man or a monkey, as the case may be. Get in here, close that. We are safe. We are safe. Nominally. Okay, with all of my stuff back, what kind of seeds did I get? Oh, I have a raw steak. That's the most exciting thing I've ever heard. Now, I've got a pearl pea seed. Okay. I've got wheat. I've got pearl peas. And I have rice. No other seeds, though. When did I get a canned food? I thought I was out of that. Okay, so out of all of that foraging expedition, I did get technically some food, but not many seeds. So I would like to put you right here. No, right, right, right here. Close enough. And you're all getting rained on. That's fine. When are you done? When, when can I, when can I have my carrot? Not now, apparently. All right. What do I need to do? I can go craft the bow. I have the ingredients for that. Is there a water pump in this game? I could just drain it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. You're just going to go away. And that'll make all the water go down. I did really like that stone, but I'm going to learn to live without it. So you are going to go down here. I could actually just hop down and get that little pixel container too while I'm in the neighborhood. There we go. That water goes away. This water is... Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. This water is now going to go away. Bye, water. Now I just got to put everything back the way it was. You go there. Give me some cobblestones or something. Let's pretty this up a little bit. There we go. You'd never know I did anything around here. Now, back to the whole hunting bow scenario here. What can I do? Uh, wooden watering can. I didn't actually ever build that. I'm going to count on the rain for right now, and I'm going to make instead a hunting bow. Harvests meat. Good. Give me that. I obtained a bow. Overcoming a monster with one of these significantly increases your chance of getting meat. Oh, so I must have got meat from one of the, one of the things I killed, but this is going to increase my chance of getting meat. Well, that's a good thing. I like the sound of that really like to do something with this house. It's all its all just terrible. Oh, speaking of the raw steak. Ah, okay. All right. Here we go. Cooked steak. Hook me up, campfire. Hook me up with the cooked steak. And you know what? Cook everything. Cook cook it all. Boiled pearl, pearl peas, whatever they are, I'm, I'm making them because I've got an achievement for it, apparently. Oh, I have more than one. I, alrighty. Super. How's my food? My food is actually really good. My health, not as good. Not not as good. Do I have any bandages or medicine left? Got one medicine left. All right. I am out of any healing items at the moment. At the moment. Is that my uh, my timber there? Yeah, let's get... Actually, actually, here's what I'd like to do. I want to make the stairs again. This is not what I should be doing. I should be taking the bow out and trying to kill things. But instead, I'm going to redecorate the house. Nobody should be surprised by this. Where was, where was the stair thing? I haven't found that yet, but I found heavy pipe commonly used in waste systems. Wait, am I doing plumbing in this game? I did not even know that was a thing I was supposed to be doing around here. Um, where is, where's the thing? Where's the thing that I want? Oh, yeah, it's just in my regular crafting. Right, my regular old crafting. So that's going to give me 10 wooden platforms. Give me two, just in case I get excited about them or something. And then let's get those all hooked up around here. So wooden platform, where did I put that? 
Well, important things have been happening overnight. First of all, I'm going to eat my steak. I really want to see how much hunger that fulfills. Not as much as I might like from a huge steak. More importantly, I've built a new bedroom with a thatch roof and everything. But most importantly, the vegetables are growing. Can I have this? I can. Not only did I get a carrot, I got a carrot seed back. Excellent. How about the wheat? Yep, wheat and wheat seed and... You are not apparently done yet. That's fine. I'm going to replant the carrot seed right here. It'd be great if I got more than one seed. That would be fantabulous, but I don't. Let me get the uh, the wheat seed cooking along there. So wheat seed up there, please. Get everything planted. I needs the foods. I've been messing around with some thoughts on the old hunting bow thing here. And I want to take it out for a quick spin. Uh, close the door, Dave. Because what I thought, see, here's my thought. Here's how, here's how my brain works. I was over here admiring my new bedroom. And I said to myself, well, hey, I've got this bow and I've got this sort of platform that I've accidentally built up here. I betcha I could shoot things and they wouldn't be able to get to me. So now I'm thinking what I want to build on the, oh, I've closed the door on myself. That was a terrible idea. Now I'm thinking what I want to build over here is like a sniper's nest. I want to build a tall platform where I can shoot things, but they can't hurt me. That's basically my entire thing for this game is please don't hurt me. I'm running away from all of my problems, but I want to take the bow out for just a super quick spin just to see how it works because I don't know how it works. Oh, sure. The place is lousy with monkeys right up until the time I actually need a monkey around here. Okay, past the grave. What are you? What do you do for a living? A yellow petal. Okay, that was less exciting than I wanted it to be. There, you. Dinosaur dog thing. Can I shoot you? Okay, not with any degree of success. That's fine. That's fine. This is where the sniper nest would come in handy. How about you? Can I reach all the way over there? Is that reach? Not really. It's not... I'm not actually very accurate with this thing. Okay, I've hit you. Oh, now, now you're wicked angry. Okay, go to the sword, go to the sword, go to the sword. This has not worked out well. This is why I need a sniper nest. Okay. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. I don't actually have any healing items to heal that off, but that was fine. We've, we've learned an important lesson here. People get really, really angry when you shoot them with an arrow. Well, this is the premise I'm starting with, which is I started building the sniper nest outside, and then I thought, well, that's a little silly. I have a perfectly good house that I could go stand in and snipe things off. So we're going with this for right now. i got to dig out a little bit of this to make sure I can get in and out of my house with the door being somewhat obstructed with the whole sniper tower thing. And of course, now that I really want to put this to the test, there are no animals anywhere around here. But I will at least... At least flesh this out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to die soon. Okay, that's fine. I actually have food now. Not not much. You know what? I'll eat the canned food because it will it will really do a good job on my hunger. So yeah, go ahead and eat that eat the canned food, please. There we go. There. Topped off my hunger nicely. Now, what was my move here? Oh, I was going to do some kind of floor in here so it just looks prettier. Well, middle of the night, no finer time to go off hunting, I say. Yep, let's see if I can see anything at all and then shoot it. My goal is to lure it back to the house and then be engaged by my sniper nest. I don't know how that's going to go down. Oh, that's way too many. That That's way too many. Way, way too many. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry about everything. I'm never going to hunt you. You're all fine creatures. I should really be trying to kill you at all. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're dead. Well, at least I didn't die too far from home. I can just go back and get all of my stuff. I think it's a sound plan. See, I think, because this is, this is the one night when there aren't lousy amounts of creatures all around my house at all times. Of course, it's that night. But I think under normal circumstances, see, that's going to be fussy. I'm going to continually, accidentally jump off the sniper nest. I feel I need to do something to protect myself a little bit better than that. Go back to um, not thatch. Go back to the timber. Thank you. Let's extend that a couple more blocks. That way when I... Oh, no, I'm still doing it. All right. I need like handrails or some sort of safety guard or something around here. 
Uh, what if we did that? Okay, so now when I come out of here, I might be less likely to do that, but I can stand here and shoot things all day. Now, what they're probably going to do is be reasonably smart and go right underneath me, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I just want to see if it works, because if it works, then I'll make it look prettier, because it's ugly as sin right now. This just is just not working for me at all. But if it works, it could be a reasonably good source of meat if the animals decide to come near my house anymore, which they haven't for a while. And by a while, I mean two nights, and usually this place is just littered with creatures. But that is probably a good place to call it on Starbound for today. The next thing I want to figure out, and do please let me know in the comments if you know the answer to this question, and do please keep those comments coming in. I've got a lot of good advice on some little tips and tricks in Starbound. The next thing I want to figure out is how I put a background on things. How do I how do I fill this in with something that kind of sort of isn't there? Like the like this. This came with the house, but I can put a torch on it, but I'm but I go right past it. So I need to know what I need to do to effectively make a background to these walls so I can hang things on them. There are shelves and torches and all sorts of things I can be doing around here. I'll probably starve to death long before I do it, but if you guys know how to do that, do please let me know in the comments. I'm going to go hang out down by the carrot because another carrot is growing and I'm very excited about that. And do please continue to let me know what you're thinking of Starbound. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.